Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be using the Morphe's lightest concealer that they have as an eyeshadow base and I'm going to go ahead and blend that all into my lid and brow bone. I'm preparing my lids for eyeshadow so you can use a primer, whatever you guys have, concealer, foundation, use what you got. So today I'm using the Makeup Geek eyeshadow palettes and I will link them down below. I do have a discount code, pretty great for so many off if you guys are interested to get a discount on Makeup Geek eyeshadows. This video is all about Makeup Geek shadows. So today's video is a little different because I filmed this video on my phone. I honestly have no idea how the quality of the video is because it's not my camera. It's my phone. So I don't know. Honestly. I have no camera right now, so I'm basically using my phone to film this tutorial because I haven't been able to film a video since I dropped my camera and broke it. So, yeah. I'm going to be using the first shadow. Then I'm going to move on to the next palette. I'm going to use this pink shadow right there, and I'm going to place that almost exactly where I applied the first shadow. I will list the names of the shadows that I use down below. You can also check out my Instagram because I do post the names of the shadows on my Instagram. So, yeah. Then I mix these two together and apply this at the same, like in the crease area, just to deepen up a little bit. Then I decided to go with that yellow shade to blend out the shadows together. So I did use that shade to blend any harsh lines or anything. Then I'm going to go with the other shadow palette and I'm going to use Chickadee. Chickadee is one of my favorite shadows from like their old formula. Beautiful color. I love their shadows. Very inexpensive, so definitely check them out. She's also having a sale with all the other shadows are like a dollar fifty, so you don't want to miss that. Definitely check them out, and then just use my code for extra money off. So I'm gonna go with the shimmery shade. I do spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray, and you can see Taco's butt walking around in my bed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that shimmery shade right onto my lid, kind of like doing a little cut crease, but going midway, not all the way, you know. I'll list the names in the bottom bar. I know a lot of people are going to tell me, oh, you should have named the names of the of the shadows. But honestly, I don't have them with me right now. So I will list them the way that I applied them. Definitely. So then I went with a brow bone color with shimmer and apply that as a highlight. And then I just brought the shadow out a little bit because I felt like I needed to do that. I don't know. Then I'm going with that same concealer and I'm going to apply it on the bottom lash line just to prep my under eye just to make sure we get that pigmentation. Then I'm gonna using the first Makeup Geek shadow that I used, I'm gonna apply this right into the bottom lash line. Then I'm gonna use the other two that I applied as well. You guys can see I mixed these two together and then I applied that on top. Then I went with a little bit of the yellow just to kind of blend everything out. Yes. So then I just went back with another brush and just kind of blended everything, make sure that everything's really nice and blended. I wanted to make sure that it was kind of like blown out, like not just like in my eye, but a little bit onto my cheekbone. Well, by my brow bone, that's what I meant. So yeah, and then I used a BH Cosmetics uh, pencil. Uh, it's a nude color. I have no idea the name of it. I will list it down below. Then I went with my fair mascara and applied a coat of mascara to, bottom, to the bottom and top lashes. Then I'm going to be using the Makeup Geek lashes in nicole i believe like i said use my code pretty grace for some money off definitely don't miss out and then i just kind of cut them a little bit just to go to my size these are the ones that i used to open my pr packages i couldn't find my lashes my scissors that i used to cut my lashes so yeah so then i'm just gonna go ahead and apply those lashes onto my eyes of course i wanted to apply my lavender color right in the inner corner of the eyes while my uh, eyelash glue gets tacky on my lashes. So yeah, then I just go ahead and apply that. All right, I'm going with two different lips. Go well, on that lip color, but I'm gonna go with the Time Los Angeles. Uh, this is a really nude color. Like I know a lot of people are going to say like that was not the right color, but it's okay because I'm going to go ahead and add a gloss. I kind of just want to use whatever I haven't used in a while just to give you guys something different because honestly the same lip combo is kind of getting boring to me. So yeah, I'll list the names in the bottom bar. This one is Max Lip Glass in Snob and I really like it. 
by itself. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Makeup Forever uh, new setting spray. And that's about it, you guys. I'm just gonna go and retouch a little bit of my highlighter. I am using the Girl Active um, highlighter, I believe. I forget the name of it. But I'll list it down below for you guys. Also, if I don't, I do have it on my Instagram with my last picture with the look. So definitely check my social media out. And yeah, I want to thank you again for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.